Uh, we need to develop a clear roadmap for using zip to purchase fuel. Uh, honestly, I don't know why there is this uh, hype about just fuel. <laughs> With your zip, you can buy all the other things you want to buy. This economy is 80 to 85 percent tolerant. What this means is that on average, if I were to search your pockets, I would find $85 in US dollars and maybe $15 equivalent in Zik. So, so where is the problem? <laughs> but having said that, I did announce in the mandatory policy statement that uh, yes, we have uh, 31 December 2030 is the date when the multi-currency arrangement comes to an end. We don't want it to be an overnight event. We want to start building uh, more and more demand for the Zim dollar, such that maybe if we can do 70-30 by end of this year, 70% being forex, 30% being local, maybe 60-40 by end of 20. Uh, 25, five. and uh, when we get to 50-50, people will be indifferent as to which currency they are using. And then when we get to 2030, we don't even have to announce it. People will be using their zinc. And in the process, as we travel along that path, that's when we will say maybe uh, fuel can also be included in that, in, 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 in commodity that can be sold in, in zinc. We don't want fewer cues. Things are working, so let it be.